the past three decades, Bob Snodgrass has been a pioneer and a fixture in the counterculture that, that is Eugene. 1990, I was uh, traveling on the road with my wife and daughter in the motorhome, and uh, we would stop traditionally in the winter, put our youngest daughter in school, and then come spring, we'd pull back out and go on down the road again. And my friend Hugh Salkine, who Hugh said, Eugene had better weed. When I said I was going to settle in Arcata or Ashland, he says, well, Eugene has better weed. And it was like that faraway look you get for a second when you've just reevaluated everything and threw a whole bunch of stuff out the window. That's what got me here was I figured if I made best pipes, might as well have the best herb. Anyhow, that was 1990, and this is 2017, so I've got stuck here longer than any place I've ever been in my life. Well, I originally started out working with just clear glass and borosilicate. Uh, we made simple joint holders, something like this that you would put a doobie in put your finger on the end and a mouthpiece, but it didn't have any color to it. And it would just turn black and be all shiny because it was black and it looked pretty good. But they were all functional. That was the first part of the 70s. Uh, by 78, I really wasn't satisfied with my work and I started experimenting more and more with blending things in to make colors. Uh, I, I went to the pottery shop and I bought basic glazes and I bought uh, things that a potter might buy chrome oxide and mix it into the clay and actually make a colored clay. And I was doing that at the point of the flame. I'm taking a solid rod or putting the material like the oxides down the inside of a tube and collapsing it and then starting to blend and add more and more and more and a lot of this stuff wasn't compatible with itself even. You'd have to dilute it to the point that uh, it would mix with other glass. Snodgrass has been an inspiration to an entire generation of glass blowers including David Poppers, an instructor at the Eugene Glass School. first job was blowing glass when I first moved out here from uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Glass blowing has always been a thing, even back from Italy and Germany and, and you know it goes back to medieval days. But here in the Pacific Northwest, besides Seattle, Eugene just kind of came a hub and so in 1999 they just started to say, hey, we need to make a school. It's just a very artistically friendly, very laid back community very rainy Sunday type of a type of place and very the artists around here have a, a particular point of view that a lot of people don't we we like to go with the obscure we like to go with the against the grain sort of a thing uh, I'm really happy that it's a, a, a field where I can still be satisfied with what I make and I can experiment and do untold don't know yet and there's still a lot of untold don't know yet down the road. <laughs>